In Super Mario Odyssey, in a few categories, there are these two tricks that save quite a lot of time by skipping some story moons, but still achieving peace in the kingdoms that you skip the story moons. These two tricks I'm referring to are IP Clip and Snow Clip, respectively. IP Clip, of course, meaning Inverted Pyramid Clip in Sand Kingdom. These two clips are what's known as Roll Cancel Clips, and they're called so because you utilize a Roll Cancel when close to a wall to clip through said wall. In Sand Kingdom, this allows us to clip into the Inverted Pyramid early instead of having to collect two extra Story Moons to get to Harriet and trigger the first stage of World Peace for Sand Kingdom. In Snow, it allows us to skip the upper Story Moons and get to the bound section early, saving quite a lot of time. These tricks are quite difficult and require some pretty precise inputs, especially on 1.2. For this tutorial, I'm going to be focusing on world peace, but this can also be done in darker side and maybe some other cat. Anyway, continuing, world peace. So in my world peace tutorial, I briefly went over what IP and snow clip are, but I didn't go too in depth. In this video, I'm going to be breaking it down step by step and going over the different setups and inputs required for both 1.0 and 1.2. So let's go. So as I explained in my world peace tutorial, these roll cancel clips, of course, require a roll cancel. So in the case of IP clip, what you want to do is set up on the door of the inverted pyramid. On 1.2, you want to line yourself up here on this curve of the cheek right here. Line up Mario's ear with it. And on 1.0, you can more or less be anywhere, to be honest. But what kind of lets you slide through the easiest is right up in the left-hand corner. Just honestly, just nudge yourself into the corner and just go for it. So for those that aren't aware, these roll cancel clips are quite a lot easier on 1.0. And then... In 1.2, Nintendo attempted to patch them out, but didn't quite succeed in doing so. So 1.0 is quite a lot more lenient and you have a lot more room to perform the inputs. 1.2 is quite a lot tighter. So just going over the inputs once again, what you're gonna wanna do is line yourself up on the wall, ground pound, delay your ground pound just a little bit, and then roll. For me, I use the X button and then very quickly roll cancel by pressing Y and B. I use the roll of a thumb method to roll cancel, but some people, I don't know, three finger I've heard, I don't know. It's weird. Just pick how you roll cancel and just go from there. This roll cancel, once again, is quite tight. It requires you to roll cancel quite quickly. A lot of people struggle getting this speed. You want to work out this timing and grind it down. Eventually, it becomes more and more natural, but until then, it's going to feel almost impossible. But just keep going and eventually it'll make sense. So once you've lined up, once again, ground pound, delay your roll, roll cancel. And if you've inputted the roll cancel at the correct time, you should now slip straight through the wall. If while you're ground pounding, you see Mario do this little down throw against the wall, that that could mean one of two things. One, you're either not holding your ground pound while rolling, but when you're learning these clips, sometimes your brain likes to just forget to do things that you've done, you know, literally for months. So either you're not holding the ground pound button or what can actually happen sometimes is if you try and roll too quickly after you ground pound, Mario will initiate a down throw. I don't really know why this happens, but it's a thing. So this is why I say that you have to delay your ground pound a little bit as it actually ensures that you get a ground pound and not a down throw. Also, in respects to not getting things, if you're bonking on the wall, that means that you're not roll cancelling fast enough, obviously. You're not getting the inputs out in time. Mario's not roll cancelling, you're just bopping your head. If you see the roll cancel against the wall, but you're not going through, that either means that you're roll cancelling too early or you're roll cancelling too late. I know that's not extremely helpful, but it's a thing. You need to kind of lab it out yourself, feel out the roll cancel clip. Unfortunately, a video can only explain so much. You need to get out there. You need to be trying these clips yourself. And uh, I believe you can do it. These roll cancels look quite different on 1.2 and 1.0. 1 1.0, 1 you're kind of just like sliding through an invisible wall. It's kind of strange. Whereas 1.2, you kind of just slip right through. It's weird. It looks a bit different and funky, but that's just how it be. These clips take quite a long time to master. And in, in the case of 1.2, a long time to master. And sometimes you kind of just get IP walled and you just can't get it at all. Unfortunately, there's nothing I or anyone can really do to help that scenario. It's just going to happen. 1.2 is unfortunately not as lenient with these roll cancel clips, but I believe in you guys. I know you can pull it off. Practice makes perfect. Now let's move to snow clip. So in World Peace, when trying to clip through through into the bound ball section, you actually have three separate options. You can do a moon clip on the upstairs moon just before you're required to clip through to the bound ball section. This is the most difficult way to do it as this moon clip has a bit different of timing compared to say chest clip or nut 
clip. But if you can master the timing on the moon clip, this is actually your fastest option. Even if you take just a second or two to set up, it's still faster than walking downstairs and getting that clip. But if you have trouble with that, the next easiest option is actually this other step upstairs back towards the ramp that you came down to get this moon. This clip is quite a lot more lenient than the rest of the roll cancel clips. I would say this is probably one of the easiest roll cancel clips on 1.2, probably on par with 1.0 IP clip. But this clip is of course quite slow as you have to backtrack and then the movement to the loading zone that you have to get to is extremely slow. There's also quite a big chance of you just not getting the proper angle that you need and just falling to your death. So I definitely don't recommend doing this one, but when you're learning roll cancel clips, this can be a good confidence booster as you're going to get this one a lot more often than you're going to get the other ones. So maybe use it as that, just get the idea of roll cancel clips in your head with this one, but then move on to possibly the downstairs clip. So this clip's a bit harder than say IP clip, but it is faster than your upstairs option. So I'm going to go through that now. What you want to do is walk straight at this bottom set of stairs. This can be found directly under the moon that you've just received upstairs. It is the second door on the left, closest to the back wall. So once again, you want to walk straight up to the stairs, turn directly right and walk against the wall and then do the same inputs as IP clip. But the timing has to be a little different here. I can't really go into the specifics of the timing difference because it's honestly just a feeling thing. But there's also an extra input here that you need to do. So you want to hold right on your analog stick while you're doing your roll cancels. For IP clip, you don't hold the direction. You're just neutral. But for snow clip, you want to continue to hold right. Then input your roll cancel command after the ground pound. And if you get it correctly, you should slip straight through the wall. As soon as you're through the wall, hold down right on your analog stick and you should fall directly into the loading zone. That's why this method is faster than the upstairs method because you're just directly over the loading zone. But of course, it all depends on how fast you can get the clip. I personally didn't feel a major difference in difficulty in this clip between 1.0 and 1.2. That could just be because I haven't been on 1.2 in quite a long time and I didn't really like this clip when I was on 1.2 because I wasn't all that great at it and maybe I've improved. But as far as I can tell, they feel the same, maybe slightly different timing, if anything. But someone who has both versions would probably be a better help for you there. All I can do is help you with the inputs and give you that little booster encouragement that you need. Thank you guys for taking the time to listen and learn. I really hope to see you guys learning and improving while peace start popping off. Thank you so much for listening, so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, boys.